Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind drop down list from a database and prevent duplicate values. I am selecting the drop down list. Notice the duplicate values are removed from this drop down list control. Before, this is the output. We got the duplicate values. Now, now we got only unique values. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new web form page. Go to Solution Explorer, right click the project name, add new item web form prevent duplicate drop down list add now in the source code page i am adding one drop down list control go to toolbox standard drop down list control now i want to bind data from my sql server database let's visit my sql server and this is a table product catalog i want to bind the product catalog category and notice in this product catalog contains duplicate values i want to bind this column product catalog without duplicate values let's switch over to the source code i'm adding center tag h1 the header i'm adding this one how to bind drop down list from database and prevent duplicate record duplicate values asp.net sql data source horizontal line now before binding the data into this drop down list control first thing i want to add the the starting value is a select option between the drop down list ASP list item text select category value 0 when we are adding the list items to the drop down list we need to add the property append data bound items true if you don't add this append data bound items the list item select category will not be added to the drop down list control now let's bind the data using data source control go to design mode I notice the drop down list contains a small button which is a drop down list task click that one choose data source I'm choosing new data source SQL database I'm selecting that one new connection the server name is which is my server name and the database name is sample GB test connection succeeded okay okay click next and the database connection i'm leaving as it is and i want to save this sample db connection string 2 in my web.config file click next now i'm choosing the table name which is the product catalog and I want to bind the product catalog column. I'm selecting that one. Next. Test query. And we are getting the values. Click finish. Okay. Let's check the results on the browser. The product catalog is binded to this drop down list control or not. Google Chrome. And here we got the output drop down list and the select category option. 
and notice the product category column values are added to this drop down list control but now I want to remove these duplicate values from this drop down list control and stop debugging switch to source mode in the SQL data source the select command just add here distinct that's it let's check the final results on the Google Chrome I'm selecting the drop-down list notice the duplicate values are removed from this drop-down list control before this is the output we got the duplicate values now now we got only unique values that's it